Hey y'all, it's Big Fat Reverend Bird here again. And yeah, bitch, I'm in front of my computer again. So anyways, I'm here today to talk about what everybody's been waiting for. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer reveal. Oh my god, Reverend Bird's finally talking about Call of Duty again and not bitching about his wife kicking him out of the house. Anyways. So I watched this reveal trailer, trailer like fucking twice. Oh, Reverend Byrne, you fucked up with words. You got a dick in your mouth or something? What's the problem? Anyways, so the shit I talk about might be a little bit out of order, but it's the order that I saw shit in. So the first thing I noticed, the dragon off is back. Now I hope to God, I know Treyarch's doing the, the, the fucking multiplayer along with whoever the fuck else, Dragon Age, Dragon Balls, Dragon Ball Z, whoever the fuck's doing the multiplayer with Tre Treyarch. The maps look like Infinity War denim. There's maps on there that look like fucking Karachi. But that doesn't bother me. The maps, you know, the big white truck is back that you blow up, all that dumb shit, whatever. A map is a fucking map. The Dragon Off's back. You can use sniper rifles as a secondary now, which is kind of fucking crazy. But I hope to God that the Dragon Off doesn't suck balls like it does in Black Ops. It was so good in the campaign of Modern Warfare 2. I hope they bring that power back to the Dragon Off. The second thing, riot shields are back. Oh my fucking God, riot shields. Noob sit in a fucking corner. Oh my god, you can't kill me. Look, you stuck his empty to me and I'm still not dead. Fuck off! Blast Shield is back as a perk. What the fuck? Treyarch loves putting this shit in games. Oh, Blast Shield, we're gonna put Flag Jacket. But no, you can't have your danger clothes, Reverend Byrne. You just gotta shoot motherfuckers with 18 RPGs in the back of the fucking face to kill them. Why the fuck do I gotta hit you with 19 noob tubes to kill you a flag jacket? You're not Michael Jackson. You're not invincible. You can't touch little kids' booty holes and get away with that shit in a court of law. It's not fair. Fuck you, Treyarch. Anyways, continuing. They brought Bouncing Betty's in. Now, there's still Semtexes, I believe. I saw frags, I saw claymores, and I saw throwing knives. Throwing knives don't excite me. That might get your dick hard, but it ain't that big of a deal to me. The bouncing baddies look fucking sweet. Because you step over them, they shoot up like some ninja shit. And pop out and explode. Like, bah, bitch, back in the face. Now, for all you little camping pussies that are going to have riot shields on, they brought something else back. Heartbeat sensors. You gotta love that shit. I remember in my final days of playing Modern Warfare 2, I used to play Search and Destroy using a scar with Bling Pro. And I'd have a fucking noob tube and a heartbeat sensor. And when you cock that shit sideways with a noob tube, the heartbeat sensor still work, bitch. Anyway, so I saw these drone robots. These bitches are obviously, they gotta be some kind of fucking kill streak. They're like little fucking Wall E type robots to roll around and shoot motherfuckers in the face. They're like roving sentry gun patrol fucking robot guards and shits. Now, something disappointed me. It looks like there's only one equipment slot. So there's not, it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to use Semtexes and Claymores, which is something I really fucking liked about Black Ops. Now, they brought the ACR back. Now, I saw some of the kill streaks. I didn't pay attention to a lot of them. Yeah, there's UAVs, there's stealth bombers. You know, the one thing looked like a fucking attack helicopter on steroids. Now, one thing that I saw that was interesting a 15 kill streak. Oh, EMPs are back too. There are 11 kill streaks. EMPs are kind of fucking dumb to me. But, anyways, Juggernaut is, Juggernaut is a 15 fucking kill streak. Juggernaut. So what does that mean? I get 15 kills in a row? I'm fucking invincible? You can't touch me? Like I got flag jacket and a fucking bulletproof vest on? Fuck that shit! That, that, it, it better be something fucking cool. Now, I, I know in the, in the fucking... Uh, it's not campaign mode, but like the Spec Ops survival mode trailer, I saw attack dogs. I don't know if they're bringing them bitches into the multiplayer, but that'll be fucking sweet. Attack dogs are pretty fucking tight on Black Ops. Now, something else I saw, this guy killed this other dude, there's like a fucking gold floating set of dog tags, like nuts just hanging in the air, and you run through and get hit in the face with the dog tag nuts. I don't know what the fuck that's about. 
Now, something else. I saw this earlier, but I didn't say nothing about it because I didn't do a video on it. Was the multiple sights on a single gun. That's kind of cool. You can have like a like an ACOG sight and then switch to a red dot. I don't have a problem with that. But the heartbeat sensors, the fucking flag jacket, blast shield, whatever the fuck you want to call it. What the fuck? Treyarch, eat a dick. Now, the gameplay looks pretty much similar to Modern Warfare 2. Looks a little updated. They brought back some cool guns. Looks like they're going to have some sweet new guns. But as long as I get my grenade launcher, bitch, I'm ready to own news. So I'm ready for this shit. November, here we come. Multiplayer, I'm going to own some news. And if they don't like it, y'all can suck on my man titties, bitch. Wah!